hello and welcome to my channel my name is Delilah and today is Friday so hashtag Friday sews if you are new to Friday sews it's where a whole bunch of sewing channels just do a sewing vlog and talk about all things sew. And Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room is the one who started the hashtag Friday Sews. Today is her birthday so I just want to take a minute and say happy birthday Jen. So I'm just going to be talking about like what I've been up to in the sewing room, a little bit of what I've been up to outside of the sewing room, and plans that I have to sew up here in the future. First thing I do want to ask you guys is what are you getting the men in your life for Father's Day? And are you sewing anything up or are you just going to buy something because you guys, I am just all out of ideas. So we still have two days I can still I swear I can still sew something up in a matter of two days so, so let me know is there something that you're sewing for your dad or your husband uh, to give to him for Father's Day oh and then I do want to thank you if you watched my video about how to sew buttons and I posted that one a couple days ago and a lot of you were asking um, what is it that I use to sew on the buttons and I just used my sewing machine right here but it came with this foot and let me show you here it's this well let me get you a better picture and in this little lever thing you just put the button in there and it stays in place and just sews the button down so I haven't had a chance yet to look online to see what it's called again it just came with my sewing machine but I guess it's not as common as I thought it was okay I've also been doing a lot of sewing for my daughter and this one I love I made it a while ago but I just didn't get pictures in it it's the little lizard king uh, it's called the West Port, and so I love how cute and summery it is. I did a contrasting. I'm getting really good at sewing the collars on um, and putting in the buttonholes with these patterns are ideal. I wish the Little Lizard King PDF patterns came in a women's size, but it doesn't, and a men's size. I would love to make this for, so like my dad, I really wanna make him one. As of right now, they don't have them in the adult sizes, but it's the most ideal pattern. It's got these little buttons on it, and there's a picture of her right there. One of her summer chores is to water our outdoor flowers. So she's been doing good every day with that. Another dress that I made for her is uh, what I've been loving is the Little Lizard King. It's the Amsterdam pattern and it is a PDF pattern, but I put these uh, such cute ruffles that I sewed into the straps right here and then it ties in the back. And I love this cute lining. It's a Ruby Star Society quilters cotton lining that I put in there and then I just need to finish the bottom but it's funny because even for my little one I try not to bug her with getting pictures but when she took those pictures she's like mom I actually have an idea so I'm like okay let's hear it and she's like you should open up a shop to sell all these dresses so that I don't have to keep wearing them <laughs> so I'm like oh maybe I have have made her like way too many dresses I don't know but she's always coming up with these ideas but I love it because even for me like I have all these ideas but it's like I don't need any more ideas I have more ideas than I have time to do with them so I've been remodeling my house uh, well I mean my front living room and so I got new furniture I think I may have mentioned it so I was like, okay, I just won't buy some fabric for a few weeks. And I've been doing really good on that. I haven't really bought a lot of fabric, but I have a lot of fabric in my stash. Oh, and I'm gonna show you um, the simplicity pattern that I'm working on as well. So don't let me forget about that. So I told myself I won't buy any fabric. So it's been a couple of weeks and so I'm ready to buy more fabric. I need uh, some more Rayon Shally. Fabric.com, every Friday they have 50% off of a lot of their fabrics. And so I'm gonna have you come fabric shopping with me here in a second. But 
First, uh, what I've been doing a lot of because it's summer is hiking. I've been hosting a lot of hikes where I just kind of coordinate hikes and I get a lot of women together and it is so much fun because we're meeting these new women and they have such really neat stories and we just get to talk and hike and learn about like, you know, what they do for a living, their family life, just, you know, their walk of life. So anyways, I want to start making some active wear, but you know, active wear fabric is so expensive. And then I realized like, well, isn't it the same like a swim fabric? Um, because so there's a picture right there and I shop in the stores, they just have plain solid fabric and it it's not very fun like it would be this, but to hike in just a regular cotton shirt is so uncomfortable and you're sweating, you know, and then it's just sticking to your body because when you hike up those hills, you're just, you're drenched. And then I was like examining the fabric from this one because this is my swimsuit, but I think, does, Oh, but see the reason, cause I kept thinking, oh no, it's different, but it's because swim, the swimsuit has a lining in it, but I think it really is the same fabric as this active wear. So I can buy swim fabric and then just not put the lining in it. I'm just gonna, you know, buy the swim fabric and make like a tank top because I love this curved hem tee. So this right here, I love the fit of it. So if I could just get my own fabric and make it out of like some active wear fabric, ooh, I'm gonna have fun with that. If I search like active wear or something like that, they want like $15 a yard and I'm sorry, but Homie can't afford $15 a yard in fabric. I don't know how some of you guys do that. I try to keep my fabric purchases at no more than like $9 a yard unless it's like a quilter's cotton and I'm making a quilt or like a button up shirt. Even when I made this one, I think this fabric was like 11 to $12 a yard and I'll do that because I don't know why the fabric, I think it will last a long time. This would easily also be like a hand me down, but I really don't like to spend that much on fabric for stuff that I make for myself. Isn't that funny? Like even as I'm explaining that, like why don't I want to spend that much on me? Um, hmm. Give me your feedback on that. I think that's pretty common for a lot of us. So when I search like active wear fabric, uh, swim fabric, like this is what I come up with. Uh, these ones are not very cute, but look at this one. It says spandex swim knit, but oh my gosh, they want $18 a yard. Uh, I can't do that, but I did find this other one right here and I kind of like this swim fabric. It's nylon spandex knit. 550 for half the yard. Okay, so that's gonna be $11. So I'm actually going to get that. Um, let me see here, what else? Ooh, this one is cute. So it says nice quality active wear, spandex knit. I'm gonna get that one as well. So, because when I looked, so this is the one, this is the ideal fabric, but when I look at it, it says polyester, it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. But when I look online, I just can't really find anything. And um, also in knit too. So I'm just gonna try this swim fabric. I think it's gonna work. I just don't put a lining in it. And I think it's like the same thing. So now let's go ahead and check out the deals on fabric.com because I want to make this McCall's 8042. I've had it in my drawer forever. I think I've showed you guys a few times and I want to make it with a really lightweight rayon chalet because I want to make view A. I think the rayon chalet is just a really nice fabric to wear in the summer or almost like a crepe type fabric is good too. L okay, so I'll stop talking. Let's see what we have here. What I like to do first is I'm gonna go to my cart and see if any of that stuff is on sale. Yes, 
It is. Okay, so everything looks like it's on sale except for this. So it says $12 a yard. I'm going to remove that. But look at this other. Ooh, I love this rayon twill. It's $4.94 a yard now, and it's regularly like $10. So I'm for sure going to keep that one in my cart. And then I want to show you this poplin gingham, $4.94 a yard, and I think this will be just perfect for summer. It's like a lightweight fabric. And also keep in mind, you only have to spend $49 to get free shipping. The, let me show you this rayon twill, $5.50 a yard, and this one, I know exactly what pattern I'm going to be using this one for. I will pop it up here on the screen really quick. Fabric is not so busy, so it's going to be perfect for this McCall's 8042. Now remember, this only lasts for one day, for today, Friday. And you can look at everything like this, but you'd be looking for hours trying to find out what fabric that you want. So I'm going to show you, I actually just go and punch in keywords in the search field. I love the Telio fabric, so I'm going to punch in Telio Act Fast. And that's going to bring up all of those fabrics that are 50% off. So see, $5.55 a yard. There's this rayon poplin for $5.50 a yard. And so they've got, look at this rayon, ooh, the viscose crepe for $6.39 a yard. So they have a lot of good deals. Oh, and I'm just going to search swim fabric really quick and see if they have anything on sale. And they don't have anything on sale in their act fast um, prices. So I'm gonna look at some poplin because I love poplin fabric. And PJ stretch cotton. Yeah, they have a few poplin checker. Okay, sorry, I'm going really fast. I'm just gonna check the Rayon Shally and see if there's anything that catches my eye with this one. And they've got, ooh, some really, hmm. Ooh, that one can be cute. Let's see, I'm just going really fast here to see if there's anything that catches my eye. And there's not a lot here that I need. I think I already came, I think I already found what I'm looking for. So I'm doing one more search and then I'm gonna move on and it's for French Terry. They don't have a lot of French Terry, but the ones that they do have is like, I just love it. So here we go, these are interesting. Ooh, but I love this stripe. It's a, rust color. Let me click on this. $4.93 per yard. Isn't that such a pretty color? I'm liking the French Terry because it's got a lot of structure to it and it's really comfortable to wear. So you do have to buy a minimum of two yards and it's $9.86. So I think I'm going to get that one. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to spend that much, but let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so I want to, oh, and I also want to, to invite you to like the video if you are liking it so far and subscribe because next week I am going to be talking about this pattern because it is summer. So I did make this in an active wear fabric that I will show you next week. And then I also made it in this fluorescent one. I'm trying to get the fit just right. So I'll show you that sneak peek, but make sure that you come back next week I'm going to do a pattern review. It's Simplicity 1358. So make sure you check out all the other videos in the hashtag Friday Sews. I hope you get lots of sewing done this weekend and I do hope to see you in my next video. And so until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.